Hey, it's Whitney from Kefir Love, and today I'm going to show you what over-fermented kefir looks like and how to know if it's safe. So the reason I'm making this video is because my most recent kefir batch over-fermented. So I thought I'd make a video to show you what it looks like and how to know if it's safe or not, because that's the biggest question. Did I ruin my kefir? Is it bad? Can I still drink it? What's gonna happen to my kefir grains? Um, over fermentation can kind of be frightening the first time it happens when you make your own kefir. But I'll show you what mine looks like and tell you exactly what's happening when kefir is over fermented. So over fermentation happens when your kefir grains are in your milk for too long. And what, that, what happens is the acid build up in the milk so much that there is a separation of the fats from the proteins in the milk. So I'll show you what my kefir looks, look, my most recent batch looks like. So you can see, here's my kefir. Um, this was about 24 hours and it just over fermented. So you can see there's that clear liquid at the bottom that has separated from the rest of the milk. Now this batch is over fermented because you have the kefir and you have the whey that has separated. Because kefir has such a short fermentation time um, compared to other fermented foods, uh, it can over ferment really fast in just a few hours. So you can check on your kefir and it can be fine. And then you could come back just a couple hours later and it looks like that. Um, just remember that over fermented kefir doesn't mean that it's rotten. So fermentation breaks down the sugars, it, it turns the sugars into alcohols um, and acids. But when a food is rotten, it breaks down um, the sugars and the fats and the proteins. So over fermented does not mean that it's rotten. They're two very different things. So the thing that will change the most with over fermented kefir is the taste. So the more it ferments, the more tart and sour and bitter it's gonna be. Like I said, those acids and alcohols build up in the kefir. And I've even had some, you know, some kefir mistakes where it got so over fermented that it smelled like kind of like a fingernail polish remover kind of kind of scent. So um, that was not that was not good. Not good at all. So the biggest question is, how do I know if my kefir is safe if it over fermented? Well, the biggest rule is to follow your taste buds. So when you strain the grains out of the kefir, um, just give it a little taste. And the next question is, what do I do with my kefir when it's over fermented? Well, if it's over fermented and you have some of that separation of curds and whey, like I said, it's totally, totally fine and to totally normal for that to happen. You just want to break it up a little bit and then just dump everything out um, into your strainer and get your kefir grains out just like normal. So I mentioned that when you do get a separation of the whey, it's totally fine to drink, but the consistency might not be the same. So once the whey separates, you can't quite just mix it back in to get that smooth consistency. It's always going to be a little bit, um, I don't know if this is the right word, but a little bit chunky or kind of a more grainy texture. It's not smooth like milk or yogurt. Um, but again, that's to it's totally normal, but um, I just prefer to throw it in something like a smoothie where it covers up that texture a little bit. So next time you see some over-fermented keeper, don't freak out, it happens all the time. Just mix it up, give it a quick taste, and see if it's something you want to drink. Like always, I'm here to answer any of your questions, or you can check out my website, keeperlove.com, where I've got lots more information about kefir, how to make kefir, and recipes. Thanks for watching.